Hello, welcome to Nubby Geeks Gaming. Today I'm going to be talking about the drama going on between H3H3 and uh, Leafy is here, and now roped into the mix is apparently Pyrocynical. Um, I feel like I have kind of a unique outsider perspective on this from the three because I've actually, at a point, was a fan of all three. And a few weeks ago I actually got, well, I don't even know how long ago it was, a few weeks, maybe a month or more, but I, you know, a little while ago I found Leafy and then eventually Pyro, and they were actually, I think, suggested channels on H3H3's channel, which, funny enough, he mentions in his video. Um, but I started watching his videos, to be honest, when I'm at work sometimes, I'll have YouTube playing in the background while I'm working. Uh, just kind of listening to it, and Leafy was, from what I s saw at first, the type of stuff I liked. You know, it was just kind of a comical stance on things, and funny enough, I was playing Counter-Strike last night, and somebody told me I sound like him, so I don't know if that's just a weird coincidence or what, but I really like the style of videos he does, and it's kind of the type of video I would want to make on my own channel, which, as is evident, what I'm doing. But, I want to say, you know, again, from an outsider's perspective, I don't agree with most of the things that Pyro said. I also found his channel shortly after Pyro Cynical, and like Py or, uh, I also found his channel after I found Leafy's, and both of them started making videos about, like, just really young kids and these people that are just easy targets, and I don't know if it's conceited to say, but, like, there's a certain tact and humor. If you want to be a comedian, you don't go for the easy joke. I mean, it's just cheap. It's like eating McDonald's as opposed to filet mignon, you know? It... I don't know. There's just... There's stuff that anyone can make a joke about, you know? It's like saying your mom after... Oh, I... I don't know. Either way, it's just a cheap shot, you know? If you want to be a real comedian, you gotta put some work into it and not just go to the easiest thing you can find. And to be honest, kids are really cringy. I would not like people to see the videos I made on my little webcam when I was like 10 years old of me making a little, you know, stop motion video with... I don't even remember what I was using, probably little Zoid figurines or something. But. I mean, they're kids, that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna do things that they think are cool that probably in a week they're gonna decide are just completely lame. And most of us thought we're lame the whole time, or... I don't know, it, they're kids! They just do whatever they wanna do. Whatever, every week it's something different. Basically whatever's on TV, that's what they like, or whatever they see on YouTube now. And that brings me back to the whole Leafy situation. Well, I guess I was still on the leafy situation, but... The fact is, it, and it's shown in H3's video, most of his videos are about kids. And even the titles are just the cringiest kid on the internet. The most cringy kid on the entire face of the planet. And you can't even differentiate the videos. And I actually wanted to go back and find a particular one where he actually did tell his followers, I may be getting him confused with someone else, but I'm pretty sure he told his followers to, you know, I'm paraphrasing, go show a channel love after talking about him. You know, I think we all know what was going to happen. I mean, let's not pretend that he doesn't know that m his key demographic is most likely teenagers, or pre-teenagers who just like that easy laugh, that middle school humor, and, I mean, they're just gonna go do something stupid, just like the kid in the video. They're just, whatever tickles their fancy at that particular moment, they're gonna do without really thinking about it. So, to say he doesn't know that his followers are gonna take notice to these channels that otherwise probably would have never been noticed by more than a handful of people, Specifically, there was one about, I think it was the last one I ever watched, it was like the kid with the most swag or something, it was some like 10 year old, who even made a response video, after Leafy's video, and it was just kind of sad, like it's, it's like yeah, he's a kid, it probably had less than 100 views before he put it on his channel, I haven't looked at it now, but I'm sure it shot through the roof from Leafy people coming to look at it and comment mean things. 
But I mean, to say the herd mentality is not at some degree the responsibility of the alpha is just, I don't know, that's just naive to say. And to turn it back around and talk about H3, who I do still like, out of the three it's the only one I'm still subscribed to, still enjoy their content, including their other channel, Ethan and Ela. Um, they never really, I don't know, it's just a completely different feeling when you come away from the video. It's more light-hearted and less picking fun at. Not to mention the fact they do it to usually channels that have a huge following and are actually most likely doing some sort of damage to society. I mean, giving all these teenage kids the idea that it's okay to walk up to a girl and say lewd things to them and not expect to get sexual harassment charges is I don't know I mean it's almost worth filing a suit against them for negligence or something I, I I don't know I mean you can just go look at some of the comments where kids come back and say oh I got suspended from school for trying this at school and sure maybe they're kidding but I'm sure it happens more than we realize there's even one channel I found I won't mention the name but it's one of the people who didn't realize that these are paid actors in the prank invasion videos and he actually went out and tried this stuff and he has tons of videos about it I I'm gonna try to resist making one a video specifically calling him out but it's it's horrible to think that like there's actually people who I don't think the people who make the videos initially think it's okay, but they're promoting the idea that it's okay to just be completely disrespectful in general to people, regardless of sex or whatever. I mean, in this world, that's what we need more of, respect for ourselves and others. I mean, what can you do if you don't respect yourself? And how do you expect to be respected by another person if you can't show that same respect in return? I mean... And nobody's going to respect you if you don't respect yourself. I don't know. It's just come to a point where I feel like... We've gotten to this weird state in an internet age where... Everyone has a voice and everyone can send that voice to the whole entire world to see. The thing is, nobody's going to hear that voice unless they're listening for it. So, kid makes a cringy video, whatever. I've done it. I have a video of me singing karaoke on YouTube. I won't link it just yet. It's bad. Sure, it was fun, but if someone else found it, yeah, they can make fun of it. I wouldn't be affected because I'm, I'm just beyond that point where I care about that type of stuff. I mean, weekends, I hardly take showers anymore. Okay, that's a joke, but... Really, though, I mean, you gotta think. Kids, they don't have the emotional, mental development of an adult. Uh, obviously, an autistic person who is the big key point of the whole leafy dilemma right now. Caught out an autistic person, and it apparently really affected him when Leafy's followers started sending, I guess, death threats and various things like that. But, uh... I mean, that's the kind of thing you gotta keep like in mind when your message starts to reach a larger group of people. So, uh, I don't know, that's all I have to say about it for now. Just kinda... Just try to be a little more mindful about the things you do that goes for life in general, you know? As well as other people, I mean, Leafy and Pyro sound like they're about my age, I'm 24, they're probably a little bit younger than me, but I still feel like they should kind of know better, and I don't know, on this, on this one I side more with H3H3, I feel like they just went a little too far, so don't forget to like and subscribe for more, this is Nubby Cakes, see you later.